Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be talking about low and high digital pin states on the Arduino. Now, if you're just getting started with Arduino, you might be wondering what all this business is about high and low pin states. It's really kind of strange, but what we're going to try to do is peg some numbers to it so we really kind of get it. So the first thing I'd like you to do is go ahead and hold your Arduino in your hand and take a close look at it. On your Arduino, there is an integrated circuit, and if you're using an Arduino Uno, it's an Atmel 328, and this is essentially the microcontroller that the Arduino is built around. Now if you look closely at that integrated circuit, you'll see these little metal pins all around it. We can designate some of these pins as digital inputs, and we can designate some of these pins as digital outputs. Now if we designate it as a digital input, it really has one goal, and the goal of that pin, once we designate it, is to say, is the voltage being applied here low or high? So you take a step back and you ask, okay, well, what does that really mean? Well, let's take a look at the data sheet to answer that question. So here we are looking at the data sheet for the Atmel 328 microcontroller. Now, sometimes data sheets can be really intimidating, and there's no question, this is a huge data sheet. You know, it's got like, I don't know, 500 something pages, which is crazy. That's, that's one third of War and Peace or something like that. Don't worry though, you know, if you're just looking at specific data, it can be helpful. So what we're seeking here is to find out what is going to be considered a low voltage. And we can find it in the DC characteristics table in this data sheet. So it says if we have a VCC between 2.4 and 5.5 volts, then the maximum that it would read as a low is 0.3 VCC. So what the heck does this mean? Well, first off, what is VCC? Well, VCC is just the digital supply voltage. Well, what the heck is that? That's just how much voltage are we supplying to our Atmel chip. For us using most Arduino boards, it's fair to say that you're going to be applying five volts to that chip. Okay, so five volts is what our VCC is. Well, what is 0.3 VCC then? Well, what that is saying is we take 0.3 times our VCC, and that is gonna give us the maximum voltage that we would read as a low. So what is that? Let's take a look. 0.3 times five equals 1.5. So any voltage between 0 and 1.5 is going to give us a low voltage. So if we specify a pin as an input, and then we do a read, a digital read at that pin using the digital read function, as long as the voltage is between 0 and 1.5, we know that we'll actually give a low reading. And to be more clear, if, it's, if the voltage is between negative 0.5 and 1.5, we know that we're going to get a low reading because the minimum is zero, negative 0 0.5. So that's a low voltage. So if we look at a scale of voltages, you know, on a range of 0 to 5, we can circle all of the voltages from 1.5 down, and we can say any voltage in here is going to be a low. And essentially what we're doing is we're making an abstraction because it's not as clear cut as just low. I mean, low could be 1 volt, low could be 1.4 volts, low could be 0 0.5. There's all these voltages that could be low, but we're just making this general abstraction and we're going to say everything 1.5 and less is we're going to call that low. So that's kind of the abstraction there. Well, what about high? Well, if we look at the data sheet again, it says for input high voltage with a VCC between 2.4 and 5 volts, again, we're using roughly 5, it says 0.6 VCC minimum. Well, let's take a look at the numbers again. So we've got 0.6 times 5, which is VCC, that gives us 3. So the minimum voltage for our pin to read high is 3 volts. If we apply 3.2 volts, if we apply 4 volts, if we apply 4.5 volts, you're not supposed to be applying more than 5 volts. So if you apply 5 volts, all of that is considered a high. So we just draw a big circle on the scale from 3 volts up, and we say all that stuff is high. So there's our other abstraction. It's really kind of messy if you think about it. It's just not this clear-cut binary yes or no. We have to abstract a yes or no. And we do that abstraction by just simply applying this protocol. If the voltage is below this threshold, it's a low. And if the voltage is above this threshold, it's a high. That's, that's how we get these low and high states. Now you might be wondering, well, what about that huge range in between 1.5 and less and 3.5? zero and more. 
there's a volt and a half of there of like who knows what. And that's essentially what it is. You can't be guaranteed if you have a digital pin set as an input, if you get a voltage between 1.5 and 3 volts, you don't know whether or not digital read will return a low or a high. You simply don't know. Now in practice, you can pretty much split your VCC in half, which again is 5 volts, so that would be 2.5 volts. And you can say anything to the left of 2.5 volts is going to be a low, and anything to the right of 2.5 volts is going to be a high. You can sort of kind of say that, and we'll take a look at it, but it's not safe. It's not safe at all because you just don't know. So we stick with that 1.5 and less for low and 3.0 and higher for high. And again, that's assuming that 5 volt VCC. So why don't we put some skin on this low and high? So here I am in the Arduino IDE, and I'm going to go up to File, Examples, Basics, Read Analog Voltage. So what this sketch does is it actually reads the voltage coming off of a potentiometer. So if we look at the circuit real quick, we've got a potentiometer here, and we've got the middle pin of the potentiometer going to an analog pin. And we've got 5 volts on one side and 0 volts on the other side of the potentiometer. And when we adjust the potentiometer, we're essentially adjusting the voltage that will be applied at that analog pin A0. Now you might be wondering, hey, weren't we talking about digital pins? Yes, we were. But what I want to do for this example is I want to read the analog voltage being applied. So we can actually see the voltage being applied at a specific pin. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and upload this to the board. And let's take a look at the output so we can get an idea of what this program by itself does. So here's a serial monitor window. And if I adjust the potentiometer, you can see the voltage goes down to zero. I adjust it some more and it gives me a readout up to five. So I'm applying between zero and five volts and you can see just about everything in between. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this voltage to a digital input pin. And we're going to look at the state of that pin. So we're going to look at the voltage being applied at the pin. And then we're going to be looking at the state of the pin. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll be applying the voltage to pin 2. And I've called that pin digital input. Now I need to go and set up and set that pin as an input. So we've declared the pin. And now we've set it as an input. So that digital pin is sitting there and it wants to read voltage. So now what we have to do is read the voltage at that pin. So now what I've done is I've declared a variable called digital state and I've set it equal to the output of the digital read function. So what the digital read function does, it looks at a digital pin and it determines if the voltage is low or high. So the digital read function it takes a pin number. So for us, we're passing it pin digital input. So we know that variable stands for two. So we're saying, look at pin two, and then it's going to return whether or not it's a low voltage or a high voltage at that pin. If it's a low voltage, it returns the number zero. If it's a high voltage, it returns the number one. And that value, that zero or one, will be applied to the digital state variable. So digital state will be set equal to zero or one depending on the state of pin 2. Now what we want to do is visualize this on the serial monitor. So I'm going to print some information to the serial port so we can see the voltage at the pin right next to the digital state. So let's do that. So what I've done here is just kind of set up some information to be print out on the serial monitor so we know exactly what's going on at the pin. So we'll print the word voltage and then we'll actually show the voltage, the value of the voltage, and then we'll print the word digital state and we'll show that digital state either a zero or a one. And that's all gonna be on the same line. So let's go ahead and upload that and take a look at the serial monitor. Okay, so if we look at the serial monitor, we can see right now that the voltage is set at 3.6 and the digital state is one. So hey, we would expect that, right? Because we said everything over three volts should be a high, and high and one is a synonymous. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is start adjusting my potentiometer. So I'm gonna adjust it to the right here. So see, as I go to the right, the voltage is getting higher, and we would suspect that the state would stay one, and it does. Now I'm gonna start coming left. 
So as I come left, we can see that the voltage is getting lower. Okay, now it's four, right around four, it's still one. Now I'm getting down less, down to 3.5, it's still one. And now I'm down past three. Look, I'm at 2.9 and it's still one. How low can we go? So I'm gonna keep going, keep going. I'm at 2.44 and I'm still reading high voltage. It's still that one. So, oh, now look at that. Now look at the state. I'm at 2.39 and we're reading a low. So let's keep going down low. At 1.5 is where we said we could be guaranteed to have a low. And we are definitely a low at 1.5. And I can keep going down to zero and you can see that that digital state is zero. So as I come back up, let's go right in the middle and see what is that cutoff between low and high. So it looks like it's right about 2.3. 2.39 to 2.4. So there's a 2.4 showing me a high. There's a 2.39 still showing me a high. Wait, see now, look at that. 2.39 now is showing a low. And let's see if I can get up. Now look at 2.40 is showing me a low. Okay, then it goes up to a high. So can you see that right there at that midpoint, that switch off, you've got this indeterminate state, this low versus high. Now, it's actually a lot more precise than that 1.5 and below and 3.5 and above. So that input state is really doing a good job of determining whether or not something is low voltage or something is high voltage. But again, if you're going to be planning some type of application where you need to determine whether the state is low or high, you need, you need to ensure that the voltage is going to be 1.5 or less for a low or 3 volts and higher for a high. So you can be sure that you don't get these false positives. All right, well, hey, that's kind of the tutorial today, just taking a look at that. I hope that added to your depth of knowledge on high and low states on Arduino pins. Have a great day. Bye.